Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is Lord Ines. Um, today we're going to be doing a quick guide on utilizing the dwarf cannon on the ice trolls. Um, currently located here on Jetsu. Um, to get here I ran from let me see if I can find it here right here. I ran from Camelot up here hopped in to the ship here to Jetsu um, once you're here there is a bank here go to your bank and get all your equipment on um, in order to get here you're gonna be you're gonna need to knock out the two Fremenic Isle and Trials uh, quest and then in order to use the dwarf cannon you're gonna have to finish that quest as well. Um, right there, door cannon. Um, pretty easy. There's plenty of guides out there to run you through those, and I'm pretty sure they're, it shows all the prerequisites. But uh, once you have all that completed, you can come here to the island. Um, this is kind of what I'm bringing with me. I'm doing a melee setup. Once you do the Fremnik Isle quest, uh, you'll get this shield. This will help against the ice trolls range. Um, to kind of uh, limit limit the damage because you're going to be getting hit by melee um, but to avoid that we're going to be praying uh, with 43 prayer with the melee um, and then I'm bringing prayer pots for that I'm bringing some nature ruins and some fire ruins so I can use my high alchemy on some of the items so I don't have to make as many bank runs uh, bringing the initial food but I also got bones to peaches probably one of the best items um, to, uh, to uh, improve your longevity of a stay. You can pretty much just loot the bones and then turn that into peaches. And then also the dwarf cannon itself. So once you have all that, let's make our way up to the actual ice trolls. You're just going to make your way up north here. I'm here. We're going to be heading right about there. Alright. And I'm not really doing too much melee. My main focus is just going to be looting and making sure that cannon stays loaded. It only holds up to 30 at a time. So just make sure that stays loaded. Alright, someone's already here. So let's switch worlds real quick. So we switched worlds, we got an open world here, so we're gonna run in. Like I said, you got two that are hitting you, so you got the range one here, and then you have your melee ones over here. And it's a um, multi-attack spot, so you can get hit by all of them at once. So what I'm gonna do is pray melee, run in here. Once I get close to this here, I'm just gonna set up my, make, take your auto, retaliate off. And I'm just going to set up my cannon. Once your cannon's set up, we're going to be watching our, our range XP here. Just keep that thing loaded. Uh, I have my ruin light set up, so I, I pretty much see items that are going to be a little more expensive. So I have it, I think, limited, so they show up blue if it's more than 500 GP. And all you're doing is just going around looting um, and making sure your cannon stays full. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have about 2400, that should last me about an hour. So what I'm going to do is run this for about an hour. And as you can see, I'm already getting quite a bit of loot. And all I'm doing is just high elking this stuff um, and just continuing. And they just keep coming, cannonballs just keep them loaded. And uh, right now, I usually average about 50,000 XP an hour with my range. Um, so it's not too bad. In an hour, I usually only have to make about one trip back to the bank. And yeah, so uh, let me uh, check back in with you in about an hour, and we'll see where we're at. All right, welcome back, everyone. So we're coming up to about 30 minutes now of the halfway point. 
we used about half the cannons in that amount of time. We started out with about 2,400. We're down to 1,200. I'm going to stop it probably around 26.5k XP. That'd be about my halfway point. Um, the biggest things to remember, like I said, is just uh, make sure you keep the cannon loaded. All I do, I don't really focus on my melee at all. I just go around looting, picking up everything. Um, I did loot a, a bunch of bones here because I wanted to give everyone an idea of what the bones of peaches does. So I got a full inventory of bones here. And this works with a whole inventory if you want, but all you do is have bones to peaches, have bones in your inventory, click that, and they all turn to peaches. And that kind of really saves you a lot of time um, that you don't have to go back and forth. Like I said, for all the other rest of the items, I'm just high elking everything else so I don't have to make as many bank runs. Um, and just looting. And then. Another thing, make sure you keep an eye on your prayer, keeping that prayer level up, and that's pretty much it. You just go around. I asked, so we just hit our halfway point here. Let me pick everything up. Pick up my cannon. Like I said, cannons don't go bad or anything like that. You just gotta pick them up. If you do end up losing one, you can just go back and pick it up from the dwarf that you buy it from. So it's only a one-time fee of 750000 but it's definitely well worth it. So we just finished up. I used almost seven prayer pots and uh, 27000 um, experience in a half hour. So it's not too bad. Let's break it down and see how much gold we made in that time frame. All right, so let's see how much we made. I'm not gonna use all the nature runes just because I know we use some to break down and actually get this gold pile, so I'm not gonna use all those. So we made about 365,000. We use seven per pots. Per pots are going for almost 14,000. Let me get the calculator out real quick. So let's take 14 or 14,000 times seven. We got about 100,000 in per pots. And then we use 600 steel bars steel bars are going for or 300 steel bars sorry I apologize we use 300 steel bars so almost 400 that puts us at Two hundred and twenty in expenses. So let's take that from the three sixty five. So we got a profit about one hundred and forty five thousand. We multiply that by two for an hour. And we're looking at almost about three hundred thousand dollars profit in doing ice trolls this way. That's making the steel bars into your cannonballs. If you buy the actual cannon bar, balls, you're probably going to either break even or maybe make a little bit, but not much. Um, so yeah, thank you. And uh, if you have any questions or want anything else from me, please let me know.